Hi everybody. Uh, today we're going to cover subtracting integers with the number line. Um, and remember that subtraction, the meaning of subtraction means to take away. 5 minus 3, you have 5 and you take away 3. Um, so again, we're going to think about subtracting integers in terms of money. So when you take away or subtract money that you have, a positive number, when you take away a positive number, the amount of money that you have is decreasing. Again, like if you have $5, you take away positive three. You take away $3 that you had, the amount that you had decreases. This is where it gets a little complicated. If you take away or subtract money that you owed or a negative number, so you're taking away money that you're in debt or that you owed somebody, the amount of money that you have actually is going to increase. You get rid of that negative debt, making your account or your balance higher or increase. So I know that's kind of mind blowing. That's what the emoji's there for. Um, but let's go through some examples and see if it clicks. Hopefully it makes sense. Let's start with just subtracting the positive. That's what we know and are familiar with. Um, so for example, positive minus positive. If we have three minus seven, this looks like it would be something familiar, but it's actually gonna take us into the negative because we're subtracting a bigger number than our first one. In terms of money, if you have $3 and take away $7, that's what this could represent. So on a number line, if we start with $3 and we take away seven, that's gonna go to the left. Our $3 is gonna decrease. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven takes us to negative four. So we spent more than we had, meaning we're gonna end up with negative four. We end up in debt. Let's go to this example below. So if we start with the negative, if we start um, in debt $4, and then five more are taken away, and then you spend five more dollars, you're gonna go even more in debt. You were already in debt, you're spending five more, you're going even more in debt. So we started at negative four, and then we spend five more dollars. So we're going to the left again, one, two, three, four, five. So that takes us to negative nine, and now we're nine dollars in debt. We ended up at negative nine. So going down to this rule here, if we subtract a positive number like we did in both of these examples, we move to the left on the number line, and the first number is decreasing, which makes sense. We're used to subtracting positive numbers, and we know that that makes the first number smaller. This, again, is where we're going to get a little bit mind blown. So, for example, if we have 6 minus negative 2, a positive minus a negative, it's a little bit tricky to think about, but this is the best way that I can apply this to the real world. You start with $6, and then you take away a possible debt that you had of $2. So you have $6. Let's say you were at one point in debt, $2, and that's taken away. The $6 you have is actually going to increase by 2. So we start at 6 and taking away negative two actually increases six by two. So we're going to go to the right two, and the answer to this crazy thing is eight. This next example, negative minus a negative, for example, negative nine minus negative nine, this might make a little bit more sense, even though it looks really complicated. If you're in debt, nine dollars, we start at negative nine, and then you take away that debt of negative nine, it makes sense that you'd be at zero, right? You just break even. Let's show what I mean by that on a number line. You start in debt $9, and you take away a debt of $9. And again, when you take away a negative or take away a debt, that means this is gonna increase by nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we do end up at zero. The answer to this is zero, which kind of makes sense conceptually. Let's say your lunch account balance is at negative nine. Mr. Leatherman calls you and says, I'm gonna take away that debt of $9. I'm gonna take away negative nine. 
it makes sense that your balance is now at zero. So when subtracting a negative number, you actually move to the right on the number line and the number is increasing, like in those two examples. So I know that's a little bit hard to wrap your brain around, but I think with more practice, it'll settle in. So good luck.